I was really pleased to come here again to the Center for Nonprofit Management. Uh, the staff, Regina, all of you are engaged in such important work. And the nonprofits here are amazing in Los Angeles County to me. I mean, when I first found out that there are 30,000 nonprofits in Los Angeles County, 250,000 people working for them, that's an army. You're a social force. And so having a chance to come talk to some of the leaders of this social army is a real privilege and, and uh, it works with what I'm working on. Uh, I wrote this book, Who Stole the American Dream, about what happened to the American middle class. How do we go from a society that was pretty fair and, and shared prosperity to this high income inequality and a busted political system that's not dealing with the problems that, that we have in Los Angeles, in Washington, Detroit, you name it, anywhere in the country. And I got thinking about what we need to do, and I started to go from how we had the problem to how, how we get out of the ditch. And so my focus now is not on who stole the American dream, but reclaiming the American dream. So I'm creating, and I'm coming out very soon, with a website called reclaimtheamericandream.org that I hope the nonprofits in L.A. County will start using. And the idea is to take a look at issues, issues like student debt, like minimum wage, like, uh, like rolling back the Citizens United decision and making politics more fair, public financing and campaigns, disclosure of who's putting the money in, uh, and giving Congress and the state legislatures the power to regulate campaigns. And the issues go on and on. On this website, we're going to have an issue briefing on each issue, get informed, and then we're going to show you a progress report of what's going on around the country. And I guarantee you, people will not believe that there is a lot of stuff happening. Washington is gridlocked. It's dead. It's stalled. It's going nowhere. But the states are moving. California is among them. There's some really good things going on in California. But there are interesting things happening in Minnesota and in Florida and in Maine and in Connecticut and on and on. And I think when people start to see what's happening elsewhere, see this progress report, this box score, see the map with the states marked showing what's happening, I think they're going to be amazed. And then the most fun for me, because I was a reporter for the New York Times for 26 years, I love to tell stories, I love to do reporting, the most fun is the success stories for each issue. We're in Massachusetts for one, we're in Washington State for another, we're in California for another. The stories roll on here and there, and they're personal, they're up close, and they're reported the way the New York Times reports the stories, because that's, that's where I learned how to do that kind of reporting. So I think there's a combination there, and the idea is that if people see success happen somewhere, they'll say, by gosh, we can do it here. And there are a lot of Americans that have sort of given up on that idea. Ah. The lobbies are too strong, the Koch brothers, the money is too big, we can't do anything. Listen, one of my friends, a guy named Ernie Cortez, said to me, it's a Latino organizer in Texas, and he also organizes in Southern California. He said, Rick, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely, but powerlessness also corrupts. It corrupts democracy at the core. If we believe we're powerless, in fact, we are. So we have to believe in our own power. So this website, reclaimtheamericandream.org, this website is to help you believe again in your own power and to help these great organizations in the nonprofits in LA. Have a compass, have some help, have some support, and get moving. Reduce inequality, restore people power, restore American democracy. That's what we're out for.